Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'm checking out the Vankio Matrix Pad S30, available for around $150 on Amazon. Some of the specs are on the back of this box here, including what's in the box and some other stuff up here. It's running Android 9 OS, I, I believe it's the native one, not Android Go. And then a 10 inch IPS display, 1920 by 1200, three gigs of RAM and a 13 megapixel camera. I've never seen that before on a cheap tablet around this level, so we'll test all that out. In the box, you have the tablet itself, a SIM pin in here. I don't know why that's there. Maybe it's to uh, open up the micro SD card slot. I, I doubt there is a SIM tray in there. A USB wall outlet and a USB type C. So this charges through USB type C. Actually, the first tablet I might have seen that has a USB type C port. Uh, the user guide should be in here underneath and that's pretty much it. The tablet itself has this kind of a uh, premium feel on the sides to it. I, I think there is a bit of aluminum on the sides uh, and on the back it's just hard plastic. It's not glossy at least so it's not going to catch fingerprints easily from what it seems. And I wonder if there's a screen protector on here. <laughs> no I'm not going to read all this. There's no screen protector unfortunately that comes pre-installed with it. Starting from the top there are the volume keys, power button, reset button, and microphone. On the side is where you'll see the USB Type-C to recharge the tablet. And then in here is where you can get to the uh, tray, the micro SD card tray. I don't think it takes a SIM in, but I'll confirm with the company if, if we're able to or not. Uh, I'll update everything down in the description or comments below. Underneath that are the speaker grills. Apparently they emit from both sides, but we'll see just to confirm. And there's nothing on the right side. And of course the cameras in the front, front camera and then rear cameras in the back along with a little flash indicator there. I recently just went outside to take a few pictures. And the screen also gets bright but it's not enough to use outside in sunlight. It does get brighter than some of the other tablets I've tested before. And actually the screen looks pretty nice compared to the other ones. I mean a 1920 by 1200 display kind of reminds me of the Chewy Hi 10 that I tested out a little while ago. It's going around the same price as this but it wasn't as smooth completely when uh, mo moving around. It wasn't as fluid and so far this just seems like buttery smooth which I like and that's something you would expect around the price when you look at tablets around this price but I guess not with that one, and maybe I think one or two other tablets, surprisingly. So this one works great uh, so far, no problems. I want to test out a few games, of course, and everything, but let me show you the pictures. So the images came out uh, blurry or grainy. I wasn't, I was actually having uh, quite a bit higher expectations than usual because they did mention a 13 megapixel camera, but I guess that is all meaningless. Uh, granted, it is better than a lot of other ca cameras that you see at this price range or around this price range. But I know most people won't be using this for the camera, nonetheless. And one way I know that the pictures came out better compared to other tablets is that I can actually just barely read the no parking sign on here. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up or not. Uh, I'll post these pictures on Reddit if you guys want to see it. Um, yeah, I'll have links down below for all that stuff. And this is the front camera. It's not smooth when you move around. And then you kind of have to stay still to get a nice photo in. Same with the rear camera, otherwise it might come blurry. And you can read Canon here. You can read Canon zoom lens. That's actually nice. It could just be me, but the quality seems about the same as the other ones. Maybe just a little better. Like four cameras, it's, it looks kind of crazy. But it's all made of plastic. If I take this out, it's just gonna look. So you can watch videos in 1080p. The sound does emit from both sides. And that's also really nice to see. That's actually pretty rare because normally it just emits from one side. Uh, the way I can confirm this, or if you want to confirm it yourself, is if you uh, have like the left to right sound tests on YouTube, you can search up. Uh, that is if you have this tablet, of course. But I noticed that instead of uh, the right side emitting sound, the right side emits from the left side of the speaker and vice versa. So it's a little confusing, but... Overall, still decent. Uh, again, nothing crazy in quality, though. It's still kind of tinny, but much more tolerable. I guess, I mean, it's all of them are tolerable, to be honest. But this is definitely, like, just a step up from the other ones. So I'm showing some gameplay from uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the newest game that came out. Uh, they're both playing at 60 FPS, 1080p. This is my iPhone 10 here. Uh, it seems like 
playing videos at 60 FPS, 1080p is not really smooth on here from what I thought it, it could be. Uh, I'll give it that much that it's able to even play it because most tablets, surprisingly, are, are not able to play videos at 1080p, 60 FPS. Uh, but still, if it's not, if it doesn't work too well, then I guess what's the point, you know? But I mean, you can see for yourself. Thanks to multitasking, I'm able to show both the benchmarks and tutus on the left, Geekbench is on the right. Uh, I tested it out just twice. It got around the same score here, give or take a few. Uh, the multi-core score is impressive on, on here. The single core, not so much. Uh, it does have eight cores, though, so that's why it's uh, at such a high level or higher level than a lot of other tablets. But it does seem relatively impressive. Did it just crash there or did I press something? <laughs> Either way, we'll see our performance is. But so far, like I said before, everything is relatively smooth. Like, I guess you can say almost buttery smooth. Like, I don't notice much lag when I move around here or there. Uh, but again, this is just an overview video. I haven't tested it out for days or weeks, you know. Uh, down the line, we'll see how it performs. But again, so far, no problems. What better way to test out performance than to play a few games? First game I'm checking out here is Fruit Ninja. And things seem to be pretty smooth so far. Not too many problems whatsoever. Haven't really noticed any slowdown. Uh, besides the menu being a little slow that I've seen on most tablets, if not all, around this price range. Next game is COD. I'm checking out here. And so far, it's not smooth in frame rate. Uh, it's set to low, the setting is, for graphics. But it is playable. I'm not sure. Maybe the frame rate is set to medium. Let's see if we can change it to high here. Let's see what happens there. Okay, so, so far, again, it's not really too smooth in frame rate, but it is playable because I'm not really noticing too much lag. So it looks like you can game on here. Don't expect anything crazy though. though. Overall, I like this tablet. It's relatively smooth overall. It's great to watch videos in 1080p full HD. It does get a little brighter than some other tablets and I thought it was fully laminated, but it's not. Nonetheless, the screen is relatively nice. I like it. I don't like it more than the Chewy. It's, it's just as good as that one, the Chewy High 10. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend that tablet because it's slower than this one. Uh, but yeah, overall, again, everything is, is buttery smooth with like basic tasks from what I've seen so far. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe if you want to see more. Oh, and one last thing I forgot to mention. Tablets normally get hot on the back after using it for about 20, 30 minutes, especially playing games. Luckily on this one, it doesn't get too hot. There is something that's slightly warm to the touch here. I'm guessing this is where the CPU is located, on the left side here. On the right side, it's still nice and cool. Um, but yeah, usually they normally get hot around the CPU area. I thought it was where the battery's at, but I guess not. But I digress. That's something totally different. But this isn't hazardous or anything compared to other tablets that I've seen. So this is nice. It does have a decent cooling system then. That's what it means on this. But yeah, just one last small thing I forgot to mention. Anyways guys, subscribe if you want to see more, and thanks for watching.